Hey everyone, so thank you for watching. Today is going to be a tutorial on how I do my highlighting and contouring and getting rid of the redness and just making my skin look like a, a more complete canvas and more finished. So what I've already gone ahead and done is I have moisturized my face with, this is my favorite moisturizer, like it's awesome. It's Bliss uh, moisturizing, energizing, triple oxygen moisturizer. It's awesome. Um, I love all the Bliss pro products. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, but ask for it for your birthday or something and you're good. Then I, I don't know how I haven't been using this, but I just started using Sephora's Ultra Smoothing Primer. This is just a sample, but once I run out of this, I'm totally going to, going to get the, the bigger version because it's it's awesome. It goes on velvety and everything just looks so much better when it's on top of a primer. And I've also gone ahead and done, um, I put some anti-redness primer on just because I have some redness on my face and I just wanted to correct that a little bit so that it doesn't show through on the foundation. So recently what I've been doing with my foundation is actually mixing. Um, I was in between shades a little bit because it's winter and stuff. So I actually mix um, NYX's HD Studio Foundation in Nude, and I also mix it with Elf's Tinted Moisturizer, and I just kind of do like half and half or whatever I'm, you know, feeling if I want to be a little bit tanner or whatever. Um, so I just mix that on the back of my hand. Like so. And then I just take a spatula and I mix that all together. I take my Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush in 56 and I just kind of pat it and swirl it around everywhere. So now for the highlighting and contouring. For that, I'm using two different brushes. I just have a generic um, foundation brush, and then I have this other foundation brush. I got this at Target. I think I got them both at Target, actually. Um, I just like to use two different ones so that like one's my highlight, one's my contour. I don't know. And I'm using um, Kale Roma. I guess that's how you say it. I'm using this palette. It's the VK number 11 palette. RCMA. And I just use, um, I use this color for my highlight. I use this color for my contour. And then I use this one to cover up um, anything that's still like red, like little dots or, you know, blemishes that um, weren't covered by my foundation. So basically, um, your highlight is going to be a few shades lighter than your skin and your contour is going to be a few shades darker than your skin. Obviously, you know, I'm pretty pale, I'm not going to go with this, you know, this color, it's, that's, that's too dark. Um, so basically, I just use these two, it's, you know, it looks pretty, it blends in really well. And anything that you want to push forward is going to be your highlight, and anything that you want to push back is going to be your contour. So this is really awesome for making things look skinnier, like your cheekbones, and making those like highlighted and be like, bam. And um, also for contouring your nose, um, if you don't like the shape of it, or if it's too big, or you know what have you, highlighting contouring is a great way to shape the face. So I'm going to start with my highlight. I'm just going to swirl my highlight brush around and I'm going to put this on the center of my forehead. Okay so all I'm doing here is highlighting the top of my forehead, my nose, my chin area, and just above my jawline. Making sure to blend that so that there's no harsh lines 
of course. Okay, so that's it for my highlight. I'm going to go to in with my contouring. So here I am contouring the sides of my forehead, my temples, in the hollows of my cheeks and around my nose and again blend 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 you'll notice I left right here undone because I use okay I just got this I love it I love it I love it Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NW 20. Now, um, if you are like me and you don't like how much it pours out every single time, um, you know, you want to be able to not waste any of the product, you know. If you squirt too much, it's like, oh no, like I have to waste that. No. Um, when I actually first got this, they gave me a sample container and what I've done is just I keep squirting it into here so that I can use as much or as little as I like instead of pumping too much and not being able to use all of the product. So I'm just going to take a little concealer brush and I'm going to do a triangle. So from here to here is where I will be putting my concealer. And that's going to create the, the highlight for the top of my cheekbones, as well as concealing dark circles. I'm also going to put this color right on my brow bone because my brows are a little agitated from the plucking that I've done recently. <laughs> um, and then this is also going to be like a, a definer, highlighter, um, to make my brows look sharper. And so I fill them in. I'm going to put this on the top of my brows as well and blend that. That's so when I fill my brows in they'll look like super sharp and awesome. I put that on the lid as well just to get rid of any circles um, and putting a concealer over your eyelid will not act as a primer it will not prevent creasing it will just get rid of again it, what we're doing here it'll just give you a blank canvas to start whatever it is you want to do for your eyewear I'm going to do a high definition powder this is from elf it's three dollars um, I like it. I think I might try experimenting with a few more HD primers just to see which ones I like the best. But I'm just going to take, you know, a brush. I don't have anything like Sigma or anything yet, so this will relate to a lot of you who don't have those big fancy brushes yet. And I'm just going to pat it. I'm not going to go like this and crazy because then that gets rid of all of the beautiful work that you've just done. It's going to help everything stay a lot longer, especially if you're going to be out all day. And I just love it. And the last thing that I'm going to do is fill my eyebrows. So I'm going to take my very skinny Sephora, or is it Sephora? Yeah, Sephora angled eyeliner, but I use it as a brow pencil. And I have this dark brown. I don't go heavily on it. Um, I like to. And that is it. So from here, I would do my, you know, whatever I was doing with my eyes or my cheeks and my lips. And yeah, so that's pretty much my blank canvas contour highlighting routine. Uh, one more thing. Sometimes, um, depending on like my look or whatever. I like to do a little shimmer highlight. So I have two things. I have Elf's Shimmering Facial Whip or I have Benefit's What's Up? And I'll just take that and 
running along my cheekbones. And then it just gives like a nice little finish so it like creates, you know, you got rid of the dewiness from the um, with the high definition powder and then it just adds a little bit of that shimmer back in and it's really pretty I love it and that I don't know it's just so nice like the shimmer anyways alright so thank you all for watching I hope this helps some of you and I'll talk to all of you soon bye